Welcome back to Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're here on the ugly part of Blobalonia, which I guess still hasn't recovered from whatever the hell the Emperor did to it. I just wanted to see if the boy would repeat his idol animation. I suppose that's on me for, uh... Recording immediately after it. Ah, well, oh, that wasn't even the one he did last time. He reached up and adjusted the straps on his, uh, backpack. Hmm. Let's see. Root beer rocket. I don't understand the purposes of that smashable block right there. I mean, hypothetically, I could go down there, put on the rocket, smash through that, and let those assholes walk off to their deaths. But why would I, when I can just go over there and put the rocket down without killing them? Or without even, you know, risking myself? There's no floor down there either, so I'd have to, like, immediately duck down or get out of the way not to die. What the? Why did that happen? I didn't actually touch anything. Lame. I feel like that would be the best way to know that you've become the protagonist of a 2D video game. To suddenly realize that you have knowledge of what is above and below what you are standing on. Oh dear. Ahem. <clears throat> Sorry, Blubbert. Hey! Oh! I really wish the camera wouldn't do that! Oh god. Up. Okay, I'm up here. Kind of clever using those. Go. Oh fuck! It's everything. Why is every enemy here? Oh man. Ooh. All right. Oh. What a weird platform. That wasn't too bad. Just kind of confusing. Let me guess. Oh, so I was going to go right between the things and make a sign on the wall. Oh, it's a shelf. I actually recognized that item. That's a mighty fine shelf. Holy shit, Blobbert. That's a mighty fine shelf. With some... Oh! I think it's those golden things growing on the plant directly beneath me that are put on this shelf. Maybe they solidify as they uh, grow. Or maybe it's related to the similarly colored goo leaking out of the shower heads. Hmm. Must be a food source, then. Maybe these things are, like, storing them or for, you know... Preserving them? Like jars of jam or whatever? Oh, there's nine up here. I could, I could see the one I was supposed to go to. I'm like, hang on. So I'm looking at the bottom, and I didn't actually realize there was one up there, because it's kind of hidden amongst the dots if you're not looking directly at that plant. Did I actually start my timer? Yes. Good. Oh, that reminds me. 
Uh, this should be episode 50. can't believe this, uh, this uh, series ran on for like 20 videos more than uh, Halo 3 did. I suppose I should have seen it coming, you know, given that the one is a, a linear first-person shooter and the other is a uh, very clever puzzle game. It's very much slow, more slow-paced by design. Uh, Barry Balloon, Bubblegum Bouncer, Punch Hole, and the Coconut Coconut. I heard an explosion. I like that one. Just blob. Like you're just getting his attention, or you're just being silly. He's just being silly, so like blob. Oh, how do I do that? Uh, oh. No, no, that wouldn't help me. Okay, I'll just have to... Yeah, yeah, that. Now I'll have to. Oh, that plant directly behind me has its stuff all rotted out. I didn't know... Do the plants on this planet have bones? Because that's really weird. I mean, I get... Uh, alien biology, man. Oh! I was actually trying to run there, but... Like, I 100% I, I thought he wasn't going to jump back over to me. I thought if he tried, he'd hit the spikes. Okay, that works. There is a bomb guy there. Right? This time, rather than waiting to see if he kills himself on the spikes, I'll just blow him up. This way. Crap, I should have done it from up there. Oh well, I'm probably going to blow up. Blobbert. I'm soaking! Go. Oh! That's never happened before. I'd actually remembered the one I did before that. Okay! That, that was actually me walking to the right! I hit right and he fell. When I'd hit nothing and he did not. That's strange. I feel like that is strange. Look at that, he missed him. I did call out. hit you either of those times, huh? Hurry. Mr. Explosion. Hurry. 
No! Oh, fuck. Alright, that one is entirely on me. I just walked too far. Shame. not doing that. The first bunch of times I did this, every time I threw it the first, for the first time, it would blow up those guys no matter how I threw it. There we go. Did get both of them. Yes, yes, good. Ah. Needs a little help sometimes. Wow. I know what that's like. Oh, that would been very embarrassing if I'd walked off the edge. Ready? Okay, then up here. Okay. Oh! God damn it. What was I even bouncing on? Oh, this level frustrates me. Should have tried to walk under that fucking guy. Killed the frog, but not the bombs. Oh, I can do I got on here now, I guess. Okay, now kill those guys. Fuck. I'll have to be standing over here, I guess. Come on, take that. No! You know, I had always worried about that specific thing, and then it did actually heal me. So go ahead. So, um, go me. You called that in advance. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Oh, that gets really loud if you play it really quickly. Blobbert! We are not frolicking with the bad guys! I really, really like when he does the eat animation, but misses the jelly bean. Reminds me of, like, a dog lunging for a treat and going miles wide. Fuck. Just casually rolls on. No! No! <laughs> Okay, I guess my hitbox does not include those animations. Wait. Oh. Ugh. Over here. Let's go. I do have the hole. I don't know why I did that. There's gotta be a place I can Hurry stand up. where the damn thing goes down to him. 
I would think that the trick is launching it in the other direction, except that would just put him in there. Like bouncing off the walls or something, you know. Wait, what if I just... Yes, I was overthinking that. Or not exactly, I just hadn't seen it from that angle. Yeah, it was different. Remember to do this. this way. He's got to get him when he's starting to come down. Blobbert! Ready? Wait, no. I was thinking of something else. I don't think that'll work. I just wanted to try. Blobbert! Okay. Now you are being silly. There's a treat. I can't! Okay, right, directly above the guy. Uh. Oh! I'm not gonna leave him. I don't need to kill you to be the good guy. Dear God! See, but what would that accomplish? Right, what if I do it over here? Okay, this can work. Cannonball! Can you fill up a balloon underwater? Does that make s oh, right. Does that make yeah. sense? Fire in the hole! Oh, uh... This way. That was very good! You freed us! I thought I would have to, like, drive him down to those other guys, but it was alright. It worked out. An updraft. Oh, yeah, that did make it easier. Oh. What's the point of those guys? Oh, I see. I just need slightly more height. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Fuck! Yeah. Well, at least it's just gonna be right over here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I 
Another one bites the dust. That was frustrating, but I'm glad I got there. And now your soul is mine. Let's put some stuff on those shelves, as we do on Earth. Oh, a little sign up here. That's not... Well, it's not ideal, but you know. I was really kind of hoping just a bunch of weird alien toys would appear. Like, including a blob with Shantae hair. <laughs> ah, but there's the timer again. So, uh... Let me just try and separate the blobs so we don't get the same overlap we always seem to get. God damn it. Bob. Yes! An uncovered hug. You're too late. The viewers have seen it. Look how excited they are with the new sign. Huh. I was thinking the second one would put stuff on there and the third one would make it interactable if it was, but, uh... I guess I'm just gonna put stuff on the sign or on the shelves. We'll have to find out next time as we take on level 9. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play a Boy and His Blob when we do that. Till then, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later! <laughs>